The story is from my Baba, my teacher. And I didn't add it to my book because I really need to say it. It just can't be written. It's such a fun story. And this will complete the teaching on dosha from me to you. Okay. So Baba explained about and very ancient, thousands of years ago, this, um, bo- this, uh, this Ayurveda healer who offered body treatments to help the different people with different dosha aggravations. So he says that when the uh, what the person with vata dosha aggravated, right, mobile and all of that comes to you, talk to them quietly, like don't add to their talkativeness. And they'll ask a lot of questions, but you reassure them. And, you know, they're cold, so cover them and apply warm oil on them. And warming oil like sesame and almond, which are heating in their potency and also warmed in temperature. And, you sh- and take care of all their anxieties because their mind's working fast. Everything will be okay. And, and that's their treatment. Wonderful. And then we were children and saying, then what happens, Baba? And well, then the pitta dosha aggravated person comes up and watch out, they'll have come before time. And they'll ask you a lot of questions because they're in a hypocritical mode. So don't take it personally. They need that. Their, their brilliance is working over time. So answer them soft. Secu- you know, they're ultimately afraid, but they're covering it with brilliance. So, you know, just soften them. And then make sure you use cooling oils like coconut with rose and lotus and things added to it to cool them. And then after that massage, don't use very, very heavy strokes in case it aggravates heat, very soft. And then bring them and give them a rose sherbet under the moonlight. And when they ask about, I should go, I have things to do, offer them a white flower or garlands and give them pearls to wear and they'll be all softened and blissed out. That's their healing. Ooh, Baba, what happens next? It's like, yeah, the kapha person shows up. Okay. Yeah. When you'll ask him, why did he come? He'll say, because his spouse sent him to you there. <laughs> so it didn't come from private, you know, industry. And then when they'll come in, have them lie down, but on a bed of pebbles and hay. And so in case they don't fall asleep, because if they fall asleep, the kapha will increase. So, you know, they fall asleep anyway, but the kapha fell asleep anyway, because they're so content. So they fell asleep. And then after the massage is over, but the massage is not with oils, but with, you know, powders like green gram and all of that, and a lot of, you know, tut tut tut, and constantly trying to wake them up and break up their inertia. But they're so happy anyway, they said, that was lovely. <laughs> and then when the kapha woke up, the person, like, did we offer them a sharbat? And Baba goes, no, we showed them a snake. And the man yelled and screamed and jumped up and, and, it's, and the kapha was healed because that was a lot of exercising for them to do <laughs> and mental worry and that was good for them. Isn't that brilliant? That's yeah. So this is how these three people live inside us. And so when we are feeling dull, we need exercise. And if we have accumulated dullness, we need sharpness. If we've accumulated too much self-critical, self-burning, internal heat, we need to self-love and self-care and calm ourselves with nurturing, cooling things. And if we have a lot of anxiety and movement and motion and talkativeness and too many ideas and not enough consolidation, we need to slow down. I love it. So this explains to you the qualities and why we will choose differently, and this shall explain it to you.